Hey, this is Steve Halleck of TikToking.com. As always, please check out the website. Again, it's T-I-C-K-T-O-C-K-I-N-G.com. And check me out on Instagram. I'm at Steve Halleck, S-T-E-V-E-H-A-L-L-O-C-K. And I post almost everything I have there uh, before anywhere else. So anyway, I wanted to get into this. This is one of the coolest watches in the world, and I had to start with another unboxing because this box itself is spectacular. Um, so just take a look at it, first of all, and then I'll show you the watch, and we'll know what we're dealing with. All right, this is a Kari Voodalainen Vont 8. And for those of you who've seen my Kari Observatoire review, uh, you know a little bit about Kari and his watches. Um, but this is his uh, fully in-house model. He basically used the money from the observatoires um, to be able to uh, create the workshop and structure needed to create a completely in-house model. And uh, so this is it. Now, I do want to show you one more cool thing about the box. Um, the box itself in this case is like a collector's piece and it comes with its own papers. So the box is made here by this guy, uh, Cedric Vichard, and uh, the box, it's, these are the, so these are the papers for the box. Like down here are the papers for the watch, um, but this has the box, the box has an ID number, the box has a date of fabrication. And here it says, your Voodaline and wristwatch comes in a custom-made display box that has been crafted from sturdy American walnut. Its surface has been decorated with fine snake wood, Guiana palm tree, and burr walnut veneers all laced with bone fillet. So, uh, it's just ridiculous. Like, this watch is totally, insanely amazing on like a million different levels. But that's just a, an example of the attention to detail that you're getting when you get a Kari Voodaline in watch. So now let's take a look at the watch. Let me get him off here. All right, enough box, out of the frame. All right, that's gonna drive me nuts, here we go. So this particular Vont 8 is rose gold uh, and it's got a uh, one-off uh, custom-made flat dial. You know, some of them have like a lot of uh, uh, engraving work and various stuff on the dial. This one is like a kind of very, very uh, mildly frosted. Uh, not a lot of texture. It's pretty flat, and it really goes well with the simplicity of the watch. It heightens the Roman, the applied Roman numerals, uh, the hands, the case. Of course, is is uh, to die for. Kari's case kicks butt. Um, and anyway, I really like this dial, um, but we'll start up here before I get to the best part, which is of course the movement. Uh, manual wine watch, let's give it a couple turns here. The crown is interesting uh, winding it. It's got, uh, it's very springy, so on each turn it kind of uh, springs back a little. You get a lot of feedback from it, which I like, and you can definitely feel it getting tighter. It doesn't take a lot of turns before it's fully wound and um, you feel a nice stop on it when it gets fully wound. Um, so you have the sort of signature Kari case, uh, these, this uh, like three piece case with these teardrop lugs that he's kind of famous for and his famous hands here with the blued uh, big circles and the pointers and the hands are of course gold. And down here, you have this cool little touch where it says handmade. I hope that shows up uh, because this is a real handmade watch. You know, there's only a few people in the world who can actually make something to this quality. Uh, you've got Kari, you've got Philippe Dufour, Roger Smith, um, and they're probably the holy trinity right now of uh, living watchmakers. Um, so let's turn it over and here's where the magic happens, right? So the first thing you notice is the balance wheel is huge. It's like, uh, it's probably bigger than a dime. It's like almost the size of like a nickel. Um, it's massive, it beats slowly. It's, it's maybe the most gorgeous balance wheel I've ever seen. And then under it, I hope you can see, let me see if I can get the camera to focus here. Uh, 
So you see there uh, the two black uh, escape wheels underneath there. This is Kari's own escapement, and it's a double escapement. Um, so I, to be honest, I haven't uh, gotten into uh, all the technical stuff of this movement uh, super, super in-depth, so I won't attempt to explain exactly how this double escapement works, um, but it's an escapement like I've never seen in a watch. Um, and you can see there the, uh, I hope you can see it. It's definitely a very unique system and it's really highlighted by this uh, kind of tourbillon type uh, balance cock and this huge open area with the huge balance wheel where you can see this whole mechanism work. And then also it's this sort of um, mystery arrangement because you've got the whole movement uh, mechanism over here, you've got the balance over here, and it's not even clear exactly how they're connected. Um, but of course they are, they're connected underneath this plate. And uh, so you've got that cool uh, sort of optical illusion. Um, the finish on this piece is insane. Uh, you really can't can't find a, a single thing wrong with it. It's like uh, you pick it up and immediately can see that this is a whole other level from really anything else. Um, but just to highlight, you can see the black polish on this um, bridge here, also on the inside of the um, uh, of the barrel, and this kind of swirled finish on the outside. So you've got the Black polish on the inside and the swirled finish on the outside really gives a cool uh, look um, and then highlight that with the black polish on all these other pieces and screws and then the uh, amazing uh, stripes on the bridge itself. Uh, I'm sorry, on the, on the uh, back plate. So, and then in there, of course, you've got perlage. So you've got a mix of all these finishes, uh, but they're all so well done and so well thought out that it, it doesn't get messy in any way. It just each part of it really complements the next and makes it so that you, you just instantly look, look, know that you're looking at something incredibly special. And I, man, I wish that you guys could see this in person because you really have to hold it in your hands and see it with your own eyes to get the full feeling of it. Uh, it's definitely extreme sort of luxury in the best sense where you can just see that uh, somebody who's at the absolute top of their game has thought about every part of it and really uh, made it to the to the nth degree. Um, so I just want to show you a couple other cool things. Uh, one of the worst things about the observatoire is the buckle. It had this kind of big clunky deployant buckle and uh, Kari's got this new buckle. It's a tang. Uh, it's got just a nice subtle voodoo line in. It's kind of a cool shape, sort of a unique shape. And I much, much, much prefer this buckle. Um, I, I prefer tangs to deployants anyway. And this one is a very nice tang. I like the way it's done. It's a nice size. It's sort of, uh, it really does it for me. Um, let me show it to you on the wrist. The watch is 39 millimeters and, you know, pretty perfectly proportioned for almost anybody especially because it's a dressier piece. This is, of course, a black strap. I have a brand new brown strap for it, too, uh, that if I were if I were going to wear it a lot, I'd probably put the brown strap on it. It just makes it a little bit more versatile. Um, but this black strap makes the rose gold really pop, and um, you can see how just classic it is. The proportions are great. It's got a, a little bit of thickness to it, which gives it uh, a real wrist presence. Um, but Again, the size is just perfect. So uh, you can see the my bug bites from last night. It's great. Summertime mosquitoes. <laughs> In any case, this is the Kari Voodoline and Vault 8, the fully in-house. I mean, every single piece of this, aside from like a couple of the jewels and like you know, some very, very, very extremely minor things are in-house Kari, exactly how he wants them, uh, handmade, and, you know, this is, this is the tip, tip, tip top. So I hope you enjoyed it, and check back for more later.